Today is Thursday the 28th and it's a blue day. Looking for ways to get more involved in the community? Interact Club may be what you're looking for. Let's learn more about what the club's all about. Run, Run it! Hi, I'm Marin Montagna and I am the president of Interact Club. Um, Interact Club is a community service club and we meet every Friday at lunch in Dittman's room. If you haven't joined, you should totally come and check it out. Um, we do a lot of projects around the school and in our community. We've done a lot of fundraising events like our quiz bowl and movie nights and super fun things around the school and also we help out at places like Habitat for Humanity, Bethlehem Inn, Family Kitchen and a lot of places around our community that are in need of volunteers. Our big project that we're working on this year is our yearly um, trivia based event which is called the quiz bowl. It's going to happen on April 29th after school at 5 and you can just get a group of your friends to make a team of four, come up with a cute little team name and a costume because the theme is Enchanted Forest and um, all this money that we're going to raise from tickets and snacks that we sell at the event are going to be donated to Bethlehem Inn. Seniors, have you wondered about how scholarships work? Here is Anita from the Future Center with more on that subject. Run it! By now, uh, most seniors have found what uh, colleges they've been accepted to, and actually this coming Sunday is National Decision Day. So that's when seniors have to commit to the schools they want to go to next fall. Um, a big part of that is how they're going to pay for it. Um, in addition to merit scholarships uh, they get from their schools, we have a uh, local scholarship list um, that's managed by all Ben Lapine uh, uh, Future Centers. And they are private scholarships um, from companies and families that have gone to our schools who just offer money to help pay for the school. Um, this year's scholarship list um, hasn't been as big as in the past years because of the pandemic, but those lucky seniors who are applying to scholarships have a great chance of getting the money. Um, these scholarships require sometimes a mini essay, um, sometimes they require letters of recommendation, sometimes they just require filling out a form. Um, so even though the scholarship season is starting to come to an end, the Ben Lapine scholarship list still has openings both broadly in the community as well as just Bend High specific scholarships. So anyone that's looking to find ways to pay for school before they commit um, to going to their school this weekend, please swing by the Future Center. I have used the list that Miss Anita has been talking about and it's honestly really helpful. It's really easy to see all the scholarships when they're all in one list and it's super helpful because they're all organized mostly by first money because obviously you want to apply to the big ones and secondly they're organized uh, based on like what you actually need and what you need to qualify for like if you need a Pell Grant or something like that or if you fit into different groups of people it's a lot easier to see that I can apply for these certain scholarships. Um, Future Center has been super helpful because during my open periods I just hang out in there and it's honestly you could probably do a scholarship every period because uh, some of them are like a Google form you need to fill out and then those are super easy and really quick sometimes you can grab some easy money like that or you can do the really big ones which they take a little bit a little bit longer you have to do like an essay and stuff but honestly the Future Center has been super helpful in doing all, all that kind of stuff. We also will be hosting the clothing drive from April 25th through the through May 5th. Here's a video with more on the subject. Rub it! Um, I'm Mayor Spindling and I'm starting a resource drive for the Saving Grace Women's Shelter and we're going to be taking donations April 25th through May 5th in the Commons in the Robert D. Maxwell building. Uh, we need supplies like toiletries, um, clothing for women and children, and food and gas gift cards that can be taken to the front office. Bend High has a lot to offer for spring sports. Here are a couple of the home games we have this week. Thursday, girls varsity tennis at Mountain View at 4 p.m. Friday, we have girls varsity lacrosse at Redmond at 6.15 p.m. 
and on Saturday, we have girls varsity softball at home versus South Salem at noon. For more games this weekend, you can and more information, you can visit osaa.org. That's it for this, this week. week. Stay, Stay safe and, and have, have a good, good weekend. weekend. Hi, go Bears!